welcome to Soup Gop Recipes. Today, we are making fermented sour cabbage. This is a popular ingredient in North Chinese cuisine. We use it to make dumplings, steam bun fillings, stews, and stir fries. It's super delicious and easy to make. Let's get started. Wash your cutting board, knife, a couple of big bowls and some glass jars with soapy water. Rinse them several times. Then one last time, rinse with boiling hot water. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Put the bowls and the jars in a 180 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes to dry them completely. You can't dry the cutting board, plastic jar lids, and the knife in the oven. Just let them air dry on the countertop. Remove the outer layers of the cabbage before putting it on the cutting board. Discard the end part of the stem. Cut the cabbage into four even pieces. You may wonder, why don't I wash the cabbage? You could wash it, but it takes forever to dry, and it really doesn't do anything different besides rinsing off the dirt. That is why I only removed the outer layers because those are the parts that have the chance to be in contact with the dirt. The inside of the cabbage should be naturally clean. However, if you don't feel comfortable, you can wash it and let it air dry before you do the next step. Weigh the cabbage. Mine is about 3 kg in total. Then weigh the salt. Depending on your taste, it should be 2 to 3% of the total cabbage weight. It is best to use iodine free salt because iodine will darken the color of the pickles. Rub the cabbage with the salt. Be sure to get in between every leaf. This is going to take about 15 minutes. Since we have plenty of time, let me explain the science of fermentation. All plants are covered with lactobacillus and other bacteria. If you give them a salt solution and anaerobic environment, they will metabolize the sugar from the vegetable and produce lactic acid and carbon dioxide. This process will give the vegetables a characteristic flavor and suppress the bad bacteria that cause spoilage and disease from growing. Okay, once all the salt is finished, you can put the cabbage in the jar. But the jar that I use, the mouth is too small. Right now, the cabbage stem can't go through the mouth. So I will just leave the cabbage in the bowl and covered with a plastic foam. Let it sit at room temperature overnight. The next day, the salt will draw out lots of moisture from the cabbage. And the stem is much more pliable. I can put them in the jar now. 3 kilograms of cabbage is a little too much for 2 jars. These are 64 ounces mason jars. The best situation is to leave 2 to 3 inches of empty space from the mouth. The fermenting process will release lots of carbon dioxide. If you fill it up too full like what I did here, it will overflow and make a mess in your cabinet. But I don't want to use another jar because the third jar will be mostly empty. The empty space contains too much oxygen, which allows the bad bacteria to grow. I'd rather just deal with the overflow issue. Don't waste the cabbage juice. You can pour that into the jar as well. Right now, the liquid is not enough to cover all the cabbage. You can add some 2-3% to salt solution to cover all the cabbage. This way, it will take about 3-4 to four weeks for the cabbage to be ready. If you want to speed up the fermenting process, okay. you can add some old pickling brine from the previous pickle jar that you made. This way, it only takes 2 weeks for the cabbage to be ready. The old pickling brine contains lots of lactobacilli already, and if you add it to the new jar, it will become the dominant bacteria. It can multiply fast and take over the territory, leave no space for the bad bacteria. Use a weight to press down the cabbage. 
two weeks later, let's check it out. It is looking good. The green leafy part of the cabbage has turned into light yellow color. You should smell a nice fermented complex flavor. However, it did make a mess in my cabinet because the jars are full. But I'm super happy with the result. You can use this to make dumpling and steam bun filling. I also like to put it in braised meat. The pickled brine is great to flavor noodle soup or hot pot soup. There are tons of ways to use it. I hope you give this a try soon because I'm going to share lots of recipes that you can cook with this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.